Fellow St. Lucians, it is that time of year once again when we collectively give thanks to God our Heavenly Father for His gift of His Son Jesus Christ to us. A Son who came into this world and gave up His life for us so that today we can live in hope. In June 2016, you the people of St. Lucia chose a new government, a decision that you made to give yourselves a new beginning, new hope. Hence it is in this spirit of looking forward that I accepted the task of not only being a parliamentary representative for the constituency of Shuzel Saltibus, but the responsibility of Minister for Commerce, International Trade, Investment, Enterprise Development and Consumer Affairs. I therefore wish to take this opportunity to wish everyone in the private sector a very Merry Christmas. As we continue to restructure the economy to meet the challenges of our times, let me take this opportunity to first of all thank the various private sector organizations such as the St. Lucia Chamber of Commerce, the St. Lucia Manufacturers Association, the St. Lucia Industrial and Small Business Association, and the Coalition of Service Industries for the warm welcome that has been extended to me as their minister. The challenges facing our private sector are many, but not insurmountable. There is a lot that has been established to assist in the way ahead. The fact that we have organized private sector bodies that may accommodate anyone in the private sector seeking representation is a positive vehicle for advocacy and safeguarding individual and collective interests. And we also have, after a long time, a ministerial structure through my department which brings together all the key institutions that impact the private sector under one portfolio. This means an opportunity for greater energy and effectiveness in serving the private sector. The challenges we now face are twofold. First, we need to improve on the ease and efficiency of starting businesses and doing business in our country, and secondly, to broaden the base of enterprises that are competitive enough to face international competition. These two challenges constitute a full work program and this is what will frame the work that will be undertaken by my ministry during my term in office. Of course, the nature of St. Lucia's private sector has changed and the need for the various partners in the private sector to work closer is greater more now than at any other time. The need for a functioning private sector council is an imperative that is in the interest of most, if not all members of the private sector. This is one other objective that I would like to see realized in the coming year. And of course, a Christmas from a sitting parliamentary representative would not be complete if I did not address the persons who have made it possible for me to be here today. To my extended family of Shuzel Saltibus, I sincerely wish a safe, joyous and blessed season and that we all look forward with hope and confidence to a productive and fruitful 2017. Attention must be paid to our roads. The needs of our farmers and fishermen have to be addressed. Conditions of our school infrastructure requires priority. Training and job placement of our unemployed is at the forefront in our decision making going forward. I urge that we exercise tolerance with our brothers and sisters and our consumption this festive season is done with moderation. Brothers and sisters, may the good Lord continue to bless each and every one of us. And let us recognize that each day is an opportunity to make a positive difference towards our fellow man. I thank you and have a safe and blessed Christmas.